We have the upcoming Women's March, the Women's March leaders. That's Linda Sarsour, Carmen Perez, uh, Tamika Mallory. These are women who have praised Louis Farrakhan. I don't need to go over what Louis Farrakhan has said uh, at length here. I don't want to give it platform. Just in summary, he has said Adolf Hitler is a very great man. They refused to condemn Louis Farrakhan. They were given an opportunity just this week on The View to condemn him, and they refused to do so. They just said, that's not my language. That's not the way I organize, as if they don't think it's an effective tactic, but they said nothing against the ideology. That's happening on right. Saturday. That's one example just this week. The second example, I want to show this on the screen. This is um, Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib posing for a photograph with a Palestinian activist named Abbas Hamida. He tweeted out a photo of himself with the congresswoman this is a man and we can we can show his tweets on the screen too he has praised the leader of hezbollah he has praised the leader of a terror group that is dedicated to destroying israel and destroying jews and anybody who lives in the west he's also tweeted that israel has no right to exist this congresswoman's defense when people called her out for associating with a and with an anti-semite like this man she said stop hating me because i'm a muslim and because i'm a woman that's right. The truth of it is, it has nothing, and we understand this, it has nothing to do with her identity. It has to do with her behavior, her actions, her words, her associations, which are abhorrent, they're despicable, they're anti-Semitic, they're racist, and they're evil. And the fact that the Democratic Party isn't calling her out, she, I don't really think, I, maybe I'm wrong, but I haven't gone through everything Stephen King ever said, Steve King. I don't believe that he's ever said anything as remotely as repulsive as what she traffics in daily. And nonetheless, no one is calling her out. And that's a problem. You know what also bothers me? I like to believe that the vast majority of American Muslims are law-abiding, decent, patriotic Americans. But why is there silence coming from that community? Why aren't there leaders, like the Democratic leaders, out there in force condemning this despicable behavior by a poster child, by, by Rashida Tlaib, now in Congress? Right. It's a good question, especially when she when she and the Democratic leadership and the liberal media all prop her up as one of the first Muslim women to be elected to Congress. They are using her as the figurehead for their religion and their movement and their political ideology. If this is not something that they embrace and they need to let people know, otherwise they are, to use their favorite word, complicit in what she does, the policies she supports. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One American News on YouTube and call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.